Hey, what's up everyone? Dig and Dave here. Two boxes of pennies. It's been a while since we've done some penny pennies, so let's do a penny hunt. $50 worth. I don't think we have any enders if I remember correctly, but they are circulated pennies. Hopefully we can find some Wheaties, maybe an Indian if we're lucky, maybe some errors and varieties. But let's start digging, guys. I'll let you know when I have the first find. All right, so roll number two of uh, penny box number one is going to give us two finds. Uh, we have a wheat penny here, and if it'll focus, come on, there we go, 1944 Denver, Wheaty. We also got a 1956 Canadian one cent, uh, or you call it the young head. Um, so two cool finds in the second roll. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number three, we got another wheat penny. 1952 Denver roll number 10 just got wheat penny number three and it's a 1956 Denver we also found two more Canadians I'll show them really quick they're newer ones though so they're not too special 1994 the year I was born that's actually not in terrible condition there and then a 1971 all right keep on digging right guys had a few rolls with nothing I'm about halfway through box number one just got another wheat penny and it's just a baby well, as I drop it but 1957 Denver let me go find that wheat penny <laughs> all right just a couple rolls later just got another wheat penny wheat penny number five a 1955 Denver Hopefully we can find something a little older in box one or two, but I'm just happy to find some wheat pennies. Let's keep on digging. We only have seven rolls left in box number one, and we went through quite a few rolls with nothing in them, but we just got two wheat pennies in the same roll. So let's go ahead and check here. Not in the best condition. Ooh, 1947S with some crap all over his face. That's wheat penny number six, and wheat penny number seven is... Ooh, a 1945S. I get a lot of 44s and 45s, but not a lot of 45Ss. Let's find a 1909S next. <laughs> that would be crazy. Let's keep on digging. So I just finished box number one. We had a total of seven wheat pennies, so a little below average for me, but not terrible. All common 40s and 50s, nothing too special. But let's move on to box number two and see what else we can find. All right, I think I'm on roll number four or five of box number two and just got our first wheat penny. Sorry, the rolls are kind of not sitting evenly in the box, so I'm not for sure. But roll four or five, got the first wheaty. 1952. All righty, I'll take it. Sweet. Just a couple rolls later, got Wheat Penny number two for box two, and it is a 1953 Denver. Just got Wheat Penny number three, just a couple rolls later, and it is a 1957 Denver. We're just finding some common Wheat Pennies, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sometimes you find the old stuff, sometimes you find the not so old common stuff, but it is a weedy, so I'll take it. All right, guys, so we went a few rolls with no wheat pennies, no real finds. We're a little over halfway through box number two. We just got wheat penny number four in nice condition, and it is a 1944 Denver. All right, let's keep on digging. Just got wheat penny number five, and we have 15 rolls left in box number two, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, will be the end of the video, but a 1946 it looks like. Nice, wheat penny number five. Very next roll, we got wheat penny number six, right there. A 1950D, too bad this isn't a nickel, because that's a key date nickel. <laughs> Wheat Penny number six, 1950 Denver. So the rolls are heating up a little bit. This is the third roll in a row 
with a wheat penny, but this roll here actually had two wheat pennies in it. So that's wheat penny number seven and eight. The box started off pretty slow, but it's heating up towards the end. 56D. And this one right here is a 52 Denver. All right, nothing too special, but hey, we got a couple more Wheaties. Let's go. All right, guys, so the last couple rolls in box two didn't have any other wheat pennies or any other fines, but we got a total of eight wheat pennies for box number two, so not terrible. My average used to be about 10 to 13 a box. Lately, it's been more around seven to 10, so, you know, as the years go on, it's gonna be harder to find older coins in circulation. Um, so we got a total of eight wheat pennies for box number two. And um, let me grab the fines for box number one. If I, if I can get them out of here. <laughs> and make sure I'm not missing anything here. All right, so I think we got seven. Didn't we get seven for box number one? All 40s and 50s. We didn't get any old wheat pennies in this hunt, but that's okay. That is okay. So yeah, we got a total of 15 wheat pennies, which isn't terrible. Um, we got a couple Canadians and we did get one 1956 Younghead Canadian. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep on digging.